Hey everyone, welcome to the 28th Easy Excel tutorial, part of easyprogramming.net. Uh, last time I introduced to you VLOOKUP, both approximate and exact VLOOKUP, and today I introduced to you very quickly HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is the exact same as VLOOKUP, except instead of looking at a vertical table, we're looking at a horizontal table. So instead of working with columns, we'll be working with rows. Uh, the two examples I have set up for you today, the approximate and the exact HLOOKUPs, the data is the same. Uh, I will upload this to easyprogramming.net later on and you can download it and play with these data yourself. The only difference between the VLOOKUP tables that we saw earlier and the HLOOKUP that we have right here is that all the data has been set up horizontally. So all the tax rates, the income levels, they're exactly the same except now it's a horizontal table. So let's just get to it. Not V, H lookup. So again, just like the V lookup, it takes four arguments, four parameters. Uh, the first one is the lookup value. We we'll look at John Doe, comma. The table array we're looking at is this, this whole table here. Uh, remember, you need to re reference it with absolute referencing, so we'll do F4, comma. And now it's asking for the row index number rather than the column index number. And I put the little numbers here in parentheses so you see that the tax uh, level is the is row number two. So we'll do two. Again, we're doing with we're working with um, approximate lookup, so we don't need the fourth option, the fourth uh, parameter, but we can use it if we want. Of course, it didn't work because I didn't enter anything here. So we'll just do one. There you go, 25% same as last time. So I'll just fill all the way down and there we go. I'm going to look at Howard Stark again right here, 39.6%. 39.6. The one thing, uh, just by looking at this, you'll probably assume that you'll never use HLOOKUP and it's very unlikely that you will use HLOOKUP because not many tables are set up this way. So HLOOKUP is really not necessary to know, but it's still good to know, to know that you have an option if your tables are set up this way. So next thing is the exact lookup, the HLOOKUP is the exact same one. Now the reason I said that HLOOKUP is used far less often is because of data like this. So this makes sense, it's a short table, whatever. And then we have the column here, person ID, name, and then we have all these names. So it's, it stretches the spreadsheet a lot. I have actually hidden a lot of columns here, so you see between M and AE, so I'll just unhide it. And we'll see that so many rows come up, and this is impractical in terms of Excel. But we're going to do it anyway. So HLOOKUP, we're looking up this thing, comma, and then we want to look up this whole 30 column Two row table. We're going to do F4 for absolute referencing, comma, and the row index is going to be 2. We're looking at the row 2. And we'll do false. Change out. Yeah, and like I said last time, for some reason the false isn't showing up. Uh, this happened after one of the previous uh, Excel 2013 updates that Windows ran. So I blame them. So I'm just going to do 0 here just so we have something visual, not just a blank argument here. And copy it down, Rick Grimes, blah blah blah. I wonder why I can't find this. Let me just look it for it. I probably didn't copy it right. I honestly don't know which one that is. So let's just forget that happened. I'll actually take Kurt Wagner here. And fill in him here. There you go, Kurt Wagner. Yeah, I think I uh, copied and pasted wrong in that one. But anyway, that's H lookup. Uh, HLOOKUP is something that you probably won't use, but still good to know. If you mastered VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP is a piece of cake. Uh, well, this is a short, quick tutorial. Uh, I hope it was useful. If you have any questions about either HLOOKUP or VLOOKUP, please uh, feel free to ask. If you have suggestions on future tutorials, please let me know in the comments below, and I will happily look into them. Uh, the next tutorial will cover something that most people like would like to do and it's really useful and it's called the index match functions two different functions but one tutorial thanks for watching remember to subscribe and remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net